everybody, Tweets here, and in this video, I am going to show you how to set up and use Daisy Community Offline Mode for testing um, your mods. So, mainly this is good for testing retextures, um, because Offline Mode is limited on some things that it can do. Um, your best option to test anything will be a LAN test server, which I do have a tutorial to that. I'll link it in the description as well. Um, but this here is for also for like beginners. And if you're just going to do retextures, um, this is perfect and an easy method to test those items. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to this GitHub by Arkansas, um, which I will have this linked in the description. And you're going to download the Daisy Community Offline Mode. So you just can hit code and download zip. And then it'll download to your downloads folder. Once that's done, which I actually downloaded twice, um, then you just extract it in your downloads folder. So extract all, next, let it do its thing. All right, now that that's done, you then open up this until you get into here where you're gonna see missions up at the top. You're gonna copy it, you're gonna go to your Steam, click on Daisy, right click it, go to Manage, Browse Local Files. Now I already have it installed, so let me delete that real quick. Once you're in here on a browse local files, you're going to paste that missions folder that you just copied. And then there you go. Now it's, that's all you got to do to get offline mode installed. Now to test your mods, you are going to do the same. It's the same thing. So let me exit out. So start from fresh. <clears throat> After you pack your PBO, I always have mine go to my desktop. You're gonna grab just your PBO that you just that you're testing, and then you're gonna do the same thing. Steam, right click on Daisy, manage, browse local files. Now you're gonna take that PBO and you put it in your add-ons folder. Now, an important key here, now this is all alphabetical. Now I just added one called TWK Armor. This is very important when it comes to testing in offline mode. When you are done testing, come back in here and delete just the PBO that you added. Don't delete any other PBO. Otherwise, you're gonna have to verify the integrity of your game again in Steam because you won't be able to get into any server or game if you delete anything in here that you're not supposed to. So it's, only, it's always important to just delete the PBO that you added to test. So after I'm done testing, I would just delete my PBO. Otherwise, if it's in here, you're going to get PBO errors when you join other servers because they don't have this on the server's add-ons. So it'll cause errors. But anyways, that being said, once you get the mod in that you want to test, you just hit back one, go to missions, choose a map. I always go Chineris because I don't have any, you can do Enoch too, but I don't have no mosque mod installed on here. So I always do Chineris. This is just for testing reasons anyways. And then you look for Daisy Community Offline Mode, the Windows batch. And then you just double click it. And then you're going to load, it'll load Daisy. Okay. Now that we are in game, once you load in, you're going to notice you have all this stuff already in your hands and you're already wearing it. But that's fine. You could just drop whatever you don't want. And any clothing that you test, just take it off or whatever. That's fine. So what you're going to do first is you're going to hit Y. That'll bring up your admin tools. Um, so OB 
that's your object spawner. So you type in the class name of the item that you are looking for under search at the top. So for instance, for me, I did a helmet. So TWK alien helmet. Now you can click on it. So it's highlighted and you'll see a picture of it. But then go to health and add another zero or two or three. It just depends on how strong you made the item. Um, to be safe, I add a, a couple extra zeros. Then I just spawn it on the ground or inventory, wherever you want, or cursor, and then hit escape, and then boom. So then there you can test it out. Now, also, for this, you if you hit Y, TP um, is for teleport. You can click on any of these destinations, and it'll teleport you to that area. So hit highlight it. <clears throat> and then hit teleport and then it'll teleport you and then you hit escape and then boom now I'm at devil's castle so we're gonna bring up those tools again with Y W this is for weather and you can change the time of day so like this here my helmet I made it glow in the dark for the eyes so I would make it nighttime and then you can see um, if you hit insert on your keyboard, you'll get free cam. So WASD will allow you to move around freely. And then you could just see. Um, the best thing about this is while you're in free cam, you can still hold, like, right click and control your character. Um, you still make them punch. You can still make them pose uh, and you still access inventory so say I wanted to drop that I'm still in free cam so if I'm like taking cool screenshots or something and I want to change my outfit you just still control basically those items you can't make your character move forward but you can like put your cursor somewhere and hit end on your keyboard end end and it'll teleport to that spot and then to just get yourself back to normal, just keep your cursor kind of at your player's feet and hit insert. And then boom. And then the best, also, raise your fists and look down. Because sometimes after free cam, your character will be a little glitchy. So it's always to raise your fists and look down. Um, then if you hit Y again, G, toggles God mode. Um, you can turn on and off God mode. Um, the little crane here, this is object. So if you spawned in an item, this is pretty much positioning of it. You can move it around. Um, similar if you're doing map edits, but you don't really need that since Daisy editors out now. It's way better for map edits. And then the little camera here. Um, I've never actually used this. I think, I don't know really what this is. I think it, oh yeah, well, you could mess with something. I don't know really what that does. I've never really used it. I only use this to test. Um, offline mode also, it's mainly for testing your retextures, um, weapons, clothing, um, custom weapons you make, custom containers. Um, custom items, that's fine. It's the more complicated mods like base building and stuff like that. This is not something that you're going to want to test those on. Because offline mode is limited. And for those more complicated mods, I recommend using a land test server for testing those. Other than that, this is great for the easy stuff. Um, so that's that um so then once you're done you just exit there won't be any countdown and then you just get out of there um let me just kill my daisy here once you're done testing you you're closed out just make sure you go back to your add-ons folder now 
and remove that PBO. And remember, it's all alphabetical order. So you find the PBO that you added to test, and then you just get it out of there. And only that one. And that's it. And then you're, you're good to go. Um, if you have any questions, the link to my Discord will be below. I will also link the um, link for the files for GitHub for the offline mode. And I will also link the video showing how to set up a LAN test server as well. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.